Did you know Einstein didn't invent curved spacetime? I mean, he did. But in some sense, Newton already had it. Let me explain. Einstein's theory of general relativity is neatly summed up by the slogan, spacetime tells matter how to move, matter tells spacetime how to curve. But that mantra isn't unique to Einstein's theory. In fact, eight years after Einstein published his theory in 1915, Elie Catan published a paper describing Newtonian gravity in the same way. It's for that reason that this theory of spacetime is called newton cartan gravity. Essentially, newton cartan gravity is what happens when you imagine a world where general relativity is true, but the speed of light is infinite. But there's a caveat. The finite link between space and time allows Einstein's theory to have the special property that the curvature of spacetime is entirely determined by measuring distances and times. In technical terms, the affine connection, which describes curvature, is determined entirely by the spacetime metric. On the other hand, once you let the speed of light become infinite, distances and durations become decoupled. And because there's no spacetime mixing, measuring distances and times just isn't sufficient to figure out how spacetime is curving. Instead, one needs to specify exactly how the presence of matter curves spacetime. Again, going into the details, this is done by setting the affine connection to be the product of the temporal metric and the gradient of the gravitational potential energy. This condition, together with the newton cartan equations, which are entirely analogous to the Einstein field equations, reproduce all of Newtonian physics, including gravity and the laws of motion. And it's strange, because in some sense, the space is perfectly Euclidean and time doesn't change the rate at which it flows. In fact, this means that there is always a preferred reference frame and neither space nor time are relative. Yet, space-time is curved. The apparent contradiction is escaped by realizing that the curvature of spacetime isn't inherently linked to the way we measure distances. Fundamentally, curvature in geometry is just a measure of how arrows change in size and direction as you drag them around. And in this picture of Newtonian gravity, that happens. It's just not linked to how we measure distances, which is very unintuitive. Now, I shouldn't have to say that newton cartan gravity is not a correct theory of gravity, but as Peter Havas wrote in his paper on the subject in 1964, this serves as a useful example of how we should think of physical theories. He writes, The variety of ways, in part based on entirely different sets of concepts in which we can express the fundamental laws for gravitating matter, all leading to identical physical predictions, should caution us not to put undue stress on the supposed implications of a particular formulation of a theory, even if other formulations might not be available at a given time. To put it another way, we need to make sure we continue to focus on the physics and not let ourselves be blinded by the particulars of the mathematics.